Look, the microphone, <laughs> new camera, but it's useless. <laughs> uh, trying out new software, everything's look, look, nothing's going glitchy, so um, we'll see what happens. But I suppose the biggest news is probably this. Um, yes, this. <laughs> uh, we will keep our fingers crossed. I have absolutely little to no hope that it's going to be anything worth keeping. Um, uh, now, these moulds have push holes in the bottom, right, so that you can push your soap up. Now, it didn't come with anything to push the soap up with. It came with a clear little thing that goes in the bottom. The problem with that is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but there's a gap, like it it moves backwards and forwards so I have a feeling that the soap's going to get down between that gap and that's what's going to stop me from getting it out but we're going to give it a whirl anyway because you know it's a hundred bucks so I need to test it because if it doesn't work it's going back because I you know uh, anyway, so these are all as tight as I could get them, um, so there shouldn't be any leakage. If there is, I don't imagine there's much, and I'm not overly worried about that. Like, it shouldn't leak. For that price, it shouldn't leak. I pay $15 for a silicone mould, it doesn't leak. Alright, so anyway, so hopefully this software is good. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this one because the whole plan with this mould was to use that camera then use this one as a little in-camera I was I'm pointing on the screen so it's as a little in-camera uh, on here of me of this down in here pouring the mould best laid plans so anyway that hasn't happened so yeah I've, I've ditched the Logitech software because it's shit honestly that new one from the moment I installed that it's just was glitchy it wouldn't do what it wanted what I needed it to do which was just turn the shit on and work I don't honestly don't think that's too much to ask really is it <laughs> so anyway so yes yeah, so I'm trying this Muvavi at the moment we'll see how that goes I'm also going to give the um, there's one from Coral I'm going to give that one a go because I can do um, <laughs> sorry I'm just distracted I'm watching this magpie stalk this lady like it's running along across the road just ran across the road like do, 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 across the road do, 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 do. the magpies mate I swear to god they, they talk about all these things that are dangerous in Australia magpies hands down magpies <laughs> everybody in Australia is just afraid of magpies you know snakes meh spiders meh sharks meh magpies uh, anyway, so today is colour soap, so today we're doing black. Oh, I'm so happy you guys voted that in. <laughs> I was hoping it would be number one. You all just don't have black hearts. <laughs> but anyway, so because I'm doing black, that means I can do whatever colour I want. I mean, no, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that at all. It means I have to do black. It means I can do whatever fragrance I want because if I do it black enough, it won't go brown. So I'm going to do it black enough. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my f um, proprietary fragrance called Coconut Crazy, which is a mix of a couple of different ones from Aroma. Um, I'm not a fan of coconut soaps purely because... <laughs> Oh, sorry. Purely because most of them smell like Perkins paste, which is glue. Um, so yeah, so I've got this blend where it's kind of, it kind of smells like coconut, but it's got like a little bit of fruit salad sort of in there. But anyway, so we're going to give this a zhuzh. See, while this um. While this plays well, this software, what I don't like is it films in AVI and you have to um, convert it over to MP4, which is a pain in the friggin' ass because 
just shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. <laughs> there's hardly any in there. No, there's hardly any. I might as well just use it all. No! Oh, no! Oh. Amanda, I need more. <laughs> okay, so the plan. <laughs> the plan. Watch the shit go horribly wrong. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm so happy today. I'm not. I'm massively cranky at Curtis again. Seriously, he had one freaking job. One job. He had to sit, go down to the post office where he's going anyway and post a package. One job, people. <laughs> anyway. But I'm happy because I get to make soap and he's not in the house while I do it so I can film it. Which always makes me happy because I get to talk to you guys and it helps my brain. It really does. I was thinking about it before. Why why this helps and I don't know. It's I don't know, but I'm I'll go with it because if it helps, it helps, you know, I mean I've been depressed for like quite a while now. This is the longest one in a while, so I take any breaks from it. I take. I will just. So the plan, as I said, I have melt and pour. Sorry, wandering off. I have melt and pour over there, which I'm going to have to go and heat back up again. I'm thinking I might do. A layer of this, a layer of melt and pour, and then a layer of this, and then we might do some piping on the top <coughs> because I has these. I also don't know how much soap this thing will hold either because I don't think I think it's relatively close. Yes. Anyway, I digress. I have these. I have to get the one slimy one, didn't I? They just come in, one come out of the fridge. Uh, the little skulls, how awesome are they? So yeah, so I don't I was just making them, not for any other reason other than I was just making them. So yeah, so, anyway. So that's the plan. Now I don't think I've soaked with this before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. <sighs> that seems to be thick already who knows anyway we don't actually need that anymore so let's take that out of there <sighs> yeah this is trying to get this bloody video software just any of them to work I mean no I don't I don't want to have to pay for a new one like I've just bought I've just paid for the video editing software so this is the second video editing software that I've purchased because I bought the Corel Video Studio Pro or whatever that Studio Video Pro whatever it is because that was good and then now it just plays up like I'll be halfway through editing a video and oh, look how cruddy this is this is so disgusting um, and yeah, I'll be editing a video and then it'll just shut down just like that, just for no apparent reason. So I can't do that. So yeah. So I thought, oh well, so I found one that I like, went and tried a bunch of trials and found one that I like, so I bought that, which I actually, I quite like it, it's a, it's a good program actually. I can't remember the name of it, but... Um, Yes, yeah, this has definitely got pineapple in it. <laughs> Getting pineapple. I'm thinking I have these two lovely glitters here. This is called Diva. It probably won't show up in the soap, but we're chucking it in anyway. It looks friggin' fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I think... Um, Oh, you never know. Maybe I should put more in. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. I've got so much to do today. It's like 
and most of it's not even my stuff, most of it's for Curtis, it's like, it's just one friggin' thing he had to do, one thing, I sold something for him on eBay, so I had nothing out of this, I wrapped it up, I got the address, I transferred the money from PayPal, all he had to do was post it, oh, friggin' shit, alright, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to guess we're going to have a lot of mixture left. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking that that's enough. So I might go and just heat this stuff up again. So yes, he's fully expecting me to run him up to the doctors in Grafton this afternoon. And he couldn't even be bothered posting that his own freaking package. I'm so cranky. He's 23 for frig's sake. It's not like he's not old enough to friggin' understand priorities and shit. Eh, it's not that thick. I don't, I don't, I don't understand Melt and Pour. <laughs> she just does the strangest friggin' things. You can see that glitter, whether or not it stays like that, who knows. Alright, so I'm going to pour this over to the spatula. Oh, there was a bit of lump in there. Does that look good from the side, guys? Can you actually see it coming? Yay or nay? You kind of can, can't you? See, if I had that other camera set up, it'd be perfect. Oh, he's a spritzy spritzy! Yep, don't know what that was. <laughs> Who knows? That looks amazing! Oh, that looks amazing! I can see... I don't want to move it around too much. But I can see that it's gone down in these corners a little bit. So, although that doesn't, I'm trying not to get my hair in there, there doesn't appear to be any leakage, which is good. So, we're going to have to wait for that to harden up now. But, <laughs> quick! <laughs> but this is thick as, so. Uh, we'll have enough for piping, that's for sure. Maybe we should get that set up. A little bit more? A little bit more. There we go. Oh, I can't believe it's empty. Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. How long does this take to set up? Come on, hurry up. It's got a skin on it. Two hours later. <laughs> Do you understand? Do, 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 do. Just walk past the package out there and just moan cranky again. I'm just like, you think I'm going down there and poking it? You better bloody think again. At least I have outside clothes on today. <laughs> so he was trying to convince me to go, um, oh, which tip am I going to use? Let's use that one. Um, <laughs> upside down. Of course, because that never happens when you're off camera. Uh, yeah. Alright, so these big tips, these are, uh, that one's a 2D, this one is a, this is a 1M, now I've cut off, it's probably best to see it on there, cut off that much off the end, just slid it down, I do not have a coupler, I have some coming because I sometimes I just want to just um, change them in the middle of piping. Uh, these are not Wilton's because I kind of refuse to pay for a brand. It's like buying Nike shoes. I won't pay for them either. Although Curtis wears them because, you know, he's got so much money because he has such a good job sitting around on his ass watching Netflix all day. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am crazy, Eddie. 
first week yesterday, he's like all excited because he went and did a workout, and he's like, oh, this and that and the other, and and he says, oh, I'm going to go out and do a workout every day, maybe go for a run. I said, what, is this while you're finding a job? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, right, so yeah, so um, I just get, I just got these off eBay, I got the, 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 the closed star tip and the open star tip, uh, which is what's in here. I don't worry with a round tip because if you want to use a round tip you just cut the end off your bag and that's it. You don't actually need a tip to do it. Uh, and I just use these big cups from the cinema. Um, and you know, I open my bag out up as far as I can. It's kind of hard for you to see and they can see. Uh, sure, there you go. So you can see all the way down to the tip. And I always uh, bend it over at the bottom so that when you put it in there, if it's a bit runny, it doesn't all just run out the tip. It sort of, when it's bent over, it stops it from running out. So I think this is probably good enough. We'll just be very, very careful. I uh, don't know if it will pour or not. It's pretty thick and that's disgusting. I'm back to soaping with no gloves again because the sinus is gone. <sighs> Thank God that was all an awful couple of weeks. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, no, we're not going to be able to pour this, so we're just going to do this really gently. Never, I have never done this before. Ne never put a layer of melt and pour in the middle of a soap before, so. Something a bit different. But this is almost pipeable at this point, so I might not have to wait for it to set up. I might be able to pipe straight away, which is freaking awesome. I'm, what I'm worried about more than anything is that I'm not gonna be able to get this soap out and I'll end up making this beautiful soap and it'll wreck it and I'll be, I'll get the shits, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you won't have seen a temper tantrum like anything if I can't get this soap out. Yep, yeah, this is definitely piping um, ready. But um, I'm not overly surprised. I mean, we've been farting around for a while now. So... Um... If I can't hang on to your hats, am I might to move you back from the edge a bit. <laughs> nope, that's not going to move. That's not going to move at all. Okay. Bit of tapping. Sometimes loosens her up. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's not going to look that good. Get into the corners there, mister. Oh, I'm sorry, I assigned you a gender. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't even start me. This whole labelling business, I'm so worried. See, you probably can't hear a word I'm saying. I know why we have to have so many labels. Why can't people just be people? Seriously. Just people. It doesn't matter how you identify. You know, like, what difference does it make to you guys if I feel like I'm a male or a female or, you know, non-gender specific? Does it make any difference? Are you going to not watch my videos because I identify as a guy? What difference does it make? I'm still me. I just, I just, I don't feel like I need to tell people what I identify as or who I identify as. We've got some, you can actually, that's the good thing about this mold. You can see there's some holes in there. There's a hole in there. Chair as well. No people with games. There might be some stories to tell. It's a play school reference. It's a it's a kids show. 
So I imagine anyone not from Australia wouldn't have got that, the reference or the show. <laughs> Okie dokie, well that works out kind of well, doesn't it? This is so ready. Ready for ready. I also have some oil mixed up, ready to go for some pretty gold drizzles. Uh, let me give this a bit of a clean up. Let's see, I figure for a hundred bucks I should be able to make whatever soap I want and be able to get it out of the mould. <laughs> Wait! Okay, now as you can see that was how the tip was sitting in the cup so that it didn't all come out. Now. This is, it's kind of hard. To, um, I have to hold it weird so you guys can see me pipe. <laughs> I don't normally pipe like this, so. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! have my grandeur mixed up in a bit of gold. Oh, Boogly! Hello, Boogly! Oi! I don't know, can you see him? There he is! There he is! Hello! My little helper cat! Hey, old buddy! What you doing? Give him a foot pat. He'll take pats. He doesn't care how he gets them. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is just mixed up in a bit of olive oil. I'm just trying to make sure it's as mixed up as possible. And then we're just going to give it a little drizzle, a little, little drizzle. And just check. Yep. Just a, just a little bit. It'll look better once we build it up a bit more. Two different glitters here. I have Diva and Golden Sands. I don't like the Golden Sands. This is why I had two. <laughs> I also have some of this one, which I'm definitely going to use because that's freaking awesome. This is the, um, this is, uh, what is this? This is the Chunky Rainbow set from uh, Glitter Girl. I'll have to chuck Glitter Girl in my, um, in the tags. This is awesome. This is all, um, cosmetic grade. It's, uh, uh biodegradable eco glitter, so... And it just is now everywhere. <laughs> it's like, rah. And I'm going to have to remember when I cut it, because it's a big chunky stuff. Yeah, it'll it'll um, put marks through the soap. Yeah, that one, yeah, that's the chunky rainbow pack. You can see on the bottom, the see-through one, that's actually, it's like a gel 
uh, you can use it to put on your face or your arms or your legs or anywhere or in your hair and that helps the glitter stick to your skin because that's what it is I mean this this is a company she's she doesn't cater to soap as it's for people to wear it okay oh my god Ooh. I don't use this big this chunky glitter I have a lot of them um, and I never use them and I was like, oh you know if I'm gonna do black I may as well just bling it up so we've got them skulls on here yet okie dokie some on here some on here oh, yeah. the most awkward spot he could possibly sit bloody cat bloody cat alright this is going to terrify me cutting it Ah, where's my skulls? There's my skulls! I didn't make very many. The little mold that I've got, it only makes four. So, I was like, Phew. These actually have a fragrance. They're um, lemongrass and Persian lime because I um, melted down something that I didn't end up using. Oh, here we go. Um, we don't know where to put them. Well, shit, <laughs> didn't think of that. Get amazing, I'm gonna give that a spritz, not because it helps with soda rash, because it doesn't, but because it helps shit stick on there. Like all that whole, all that big glitter has a tendency to fall off. I've noticed if you don't um, if you don't give it a spritz. So, alrighty, well, that's my soap. I'm gonna take some photos for Instagram and I'll do a close up for you guys, and that it will be next. All right, and that was 39 minutes of me waffling. Alright guys, I'll see you for the cutting or the close-up or whatever. Alright, <laughs> bye. Okay, let's get this party started, shall we? I have a little bit of hope here. It's um, you can see here that it's it's come away from the edge. So I've also left this for. It's been well over 24 hours because I've just been doing other stuff. So we'll see what happens. Hey, this is also the first time I've actually taken this fully apart. So. Yeah, it's definitely loose. Alrighty. <laughs> it's, 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 you can see it's loose. Oh, look at this. You can actually see that on camera. It's peeling away from the edge. That's pretty cool. Oh. Maybe this might be the disaster that I thought it was going to be. It has pulled a little bit out, but I mean that's not that's not the disaster I was expecting. I've got to admit. Although this is going to get hard, like when it gets to the bottom, how the frig do you get the bottom off? Yes, you can see there's definitely taken some off the sides. Now, oh, okay. So we can. <laughs> I 
You can definitely take the bottom off, but not the um, there's the little thin piece, remember? So the bottom comes off, no worries, but there's also that tiny little thin piece which has. which is slightly smaller than the um, the base of the soap so I'm not entirely sure how to go about this now happens when you watch YouTube videos. <laughs> this is how I've seen people unmold these before. This is all going quite well so far, which terrifies me, I have to say. <laughs> really, really terrifies me. I mean, I don't mind making a mess on the bench or anything like that. That's just, you know, I just don't want to make a mess of the soap. This part is what's going to be... Because it's not hanging over either. I can't feel it. It's not moving at all. Floor and this man's design. What he should have done is not put holes in this. This would have been easy to get off because it's so thick, right? It's like these work because I could put it on the edge and slide it. This thing's too friggin' thin. right at the last minute you shit there you go so that's not too bad there's a mess everywhere now all right let me just okay so that's not too bad considering oh there you go so it's taken a little bit and this is really hard soap if I had tried to unmold this any sooner it have wrecked it so if you're considering one of these molds i would strongly suggest you uh plan on keeping it especially i mean i have my recipe is um i think about 65 percent hard oils that's not including the olive that's just palm tallow and coconut so yeah so if you're going to use one of these, A, you might want to consider changing to a harder oil recipe and B, leaving it in a mold longer. I don't know if you can still hear me. I wandered off in the middle of a sentence, which is, you know, not unlike me. All right, let's get this beastie cut. This is the other scary part. <laughs> She's got friggin' melt and pour in the middle. In the room, the bloody microphone's in the way. Bloody microphone, it's a nice microphone though. Hello. Okay, I also need to line these up, which is going to be a little difficult. There we go. And I've remembered that there's um. Watch them call it on the top glitter. So hopefully it should be turning the other way, but you can't have this side push against here because it'll break the tops off. So there we go. 
look like butter, mate. Look butter. Yay, bitches. Beautiful. Oh, look at that gold. I don't know if you guys can... Where is the camera? There's the camera. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. I love it. And uh, the skulls look awesome. Seriously. Oh, yeah, that gold's glorious. It's too bright, and it? It's hard to put it where you guys can see it. But hopefully... I'll get for my mojo. I, I've lost my mojo. If you guys have seen it anywhere, could you please send it to me? I just, yeah. I'm to the point now where I just sit around and do nothing all day, every day. I just watch Love, Death and Robots, which is friggin' amazing. But yeah, it's just like, I need to find that mojo again. I'm just having a hard time. I just do not want to go on to depressants, antidepressants. So it makes me feel so sick. Um, it's quite interesting. I'm thinking where the soap has gelled. You can see, see there's a space about this wide in the middle. It's clear almost. And I'm going to assume that's where the soap has gelled and has remelted the... Um, the melt and pour and moved the gold mica outwards because it's just in that spot and it's in every single bar it's a neat effect though neat listen to me neat god what am i 50 or something yep almost but oh seriously guys i'm loving this little just like there's a piece with a bit of, I'll just give that a one plane and that'll get rid of that. But I'm loving this. It looks fantastic. Love it. Love, love, love it. There's a little bit of oil dribble here. You can see that's not fragrance. That is actual, remember I put a bit of oil on the top. That's all that is. Nothing, nothing to worry about. It will actually absorb. But yeah, let's come up a tree. It smells amazing. So yeah, but yep, all the way through there's that, that weird less than gold, less than gold. <laughs> it makes no sense except it makes perfect sense, which makes no sense. <laughs> oh dear, I hate being bipolar, I seriously do, I hate, hate, hate it. Oh, so Curtis has now decided he's going to work out oh, no, work out every day now. So this is why I'm filming and talking and... Because he's gone off to do that. So I kind of get um, the house to myself for a little while every day now. Except on the weekend, but I'm busy on the weekends anyway. So, yep, this is awesome. I'm really loving this. Ah, yes, it's depth that is absolutely 100% without a doubt the heat from the gel because it's on this side and then this side that's close to the end, it's not. Same as this, it's not on the outside of that one and it's just starting on the inside of that one. So, there you go. That's very interesting. And now I have this like massively thick piece. So I need to make these more even or actually I could probably just cut another piece now. I probably could. Anyway, that's it. So I wouldn't say it was a hundred percent successful. I will contact this dude and have a chat to him and I will use it again but I'm going to like I said I'm going to fill these with um uh with uh hot glue maybe I don't know that might stick to the bottom of the soap so but I might ask him if he can make me a piece this size without the holes in it because that would make it so much easier to get it off 
So, because this this is just stupidity. This thing. All right. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to clean up. I guess. <laughs> There's just black mess everywhere now. Uh, oh, and look what I found. Found these in the cupboard. Woo! It's it's activated charcoal. It's from Range Products, so I must have bought this when Amanda was out. So I've used it. I don't know if I've used it in soap, but I've used it. All right. I will see you for the next one. Bye.